Hello and welcome back to Music Toolbox. In the second part of our discussion on equal temperament and microtonal apps, we'll be looking at MicroSketch. Now, MicroSketch is from Opus 133 Studios Limited. I'm not sure what liability they could face, but it is a limited liability. And they certainly have nothing to feel sheepish about with this app. So as with color scales, MicroSketch allows you to divide the octave evenly into smaller and smaller increments. Here we can divide the octave between 7 and 96 times. So if I hit settings, I can open it up and I can move down to 7, 7 divisions of the octave. Um, and I can go up to... Ninety-six. So from seven to ninety-six. And one of the things I like is that it's relatively easy to make this change um, to move between the different divisions. And it's also easy in the same area to change how many keys are per row. So depending on your finger size, you can have up to 15 different little circles uh, for every row and it gives you also more columns, but I, I kind of like 10. That's a good amount for my fingers. So let's turn the settings off there. And if you can see the white notes of the piano, um, the, you know, the diatonic collection, it has with a white background and a letter instead of the gray background with a number. So let's just do the chromatic scale here. <laughs> So that's easy. And unlike color scales, you can do two notes at once, or three, or like many, many notes. And this is especially clear when you have the sustain on. at once. So already we're seeing some more functionality in this app than we saw in color scales. We have the ability to play multiple lines of music at the same time. We have uh, 16 different sound sets. So we have lots of variety here. We can add uh, increasing numbers of steps. Let's see what it's like to go up all the way up to 96. See how that sounds, how tiny these, these semitones become. So here you can see the, 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 the space of one octave. And one thing that's not too well is there's sweeping gestures with the color of the color of the So that's, that's a really, that's a long haul. Especially if you were doing um, something with a sustain, this would get pretty... <laughs> okay, that gets pretty, pretty gnarly pretty fast. Um, and likewise, if we go all the way down to 7, um, we also see something kind of interesting. Now, this is actually my one quibble with this app. All right, so this is A440. This is a concert pitch. But if we divide the octave evenly into seven parts, we're really not getting concert pitches anymore. B should be 494, 493.8, something like that. But, but because we have the octave divided into seven parts, it's only 45, so it's, it's flat. Now, I don't mind that. We wanted the octave divided into seven equal parts. That's the, whole, that's the whole game. My only complaint is calling it B. So I actually find that confusing because you, uh, if we move back to 12, where we get those even semitones that we're used to, that's this octave. We get 
we still have the diatonic pitches listed, but they're actually playing concert pitch here. But on all other divisions, they're not playing concert pitch, yet we still have those, we still have the, 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 those, those musical letters. We still have the musical letters like they mean something, but they don't really mean something anymore because the numbers are all. I mean, that's a really sharp B. So the number doesn't mean anything, and I'd almost rather see numbers there where they only uh, mark the concert pitches. Uh, and if they were only going to mark, mark concert pitches, I would rather see you know, an A-sharp here than a 1. But I guess my feeling is with this app that you should only have musical letters when you're going to play a concert pitch, uh, whether that be an A or an A-sharp or a B or, or a C or a C-sharp. Um, they, they should all be marked, but everything else should be marked with numbers to indicate some sort of a division uh, between an octave. That would just be my preference because then I could see exactly what was happening and it would certainly make performing from this which is i think the intention here a lot easier this is the kind of app you can just spend days and weeks playing with and it's really made for that it's got the midi component hooked into this it's also uh, works with audio bus so you could really push the the notes you're getting out of here through a lot of other programs and put them in a lot of other contexts in some ways this seems to be designed for performance and I, th I think that's a laudable a laudable goal and you can do so many octaves in just such a small compact space I would though again I do have that one the one quibble about the, the music notation but other than that I think this is a great product despite the fact that it's a little pricey I think it's worth the money and I encourage you all to go pick up Microsketch and check out the other great products from Opus 133 Studios thanks a lot for listening